and welcome to Toastmasters. If you're taking this class, odds are you just signed up to be a Toastmaster and are waiting for your first welcome email. In your first email, you'll be told to go to the Toastmaster website and click on login and then select forgot your password. If you haven't received that email yet, you might want to check your spam or junk folder just to be on the safe side. You can always contact your club's vice president of education or the club president to help you find those important emails. Let's get started with clicking on the login. First of all, the Toastmaster website is toastmasters.org. Next, if you look towards the top, you'll see my cursor moving. Here's the word login. When we click on login, we can see that our computer is moving. And if we had already our password, we could type it in at this point. But our email will tell us to click on forgot password. At that time, we are to type in the email where we received notice to click forgot password. So there is mine and I will click on forgot password. At this point in time, it's going to ask one more time for your email. And you can click submit. What you want to do then is go directly to your email and check for your password. Once you've gone and reset your password, then you can begin the login process. Once you click login, it will immediately ask you to start updating your computer. What we're gonna do is update so that we can receive pop-up dialog boxes, or any other information that they may want to send us. Over towards the right, you can click on the three little dots and then click on settings. In your computer, it may be a little different, but basically it will prompt you to go in and allow for pop-up blockers. Next, I did want to show you some important features of the Toastmaster website. When you click on your name, it will show you important information about your account. This will help as you progress towards DTM, which is Distinguished Toastmaster, or maybe you want to enroll and become a leadership role in your club. Notice it tells your education awards, your history, your magazine subscriptions, any additional roles, and any offices that you have held. Also, if you notice, it tells which clubs you are a member, and it also tells you your member number. So again, once you get that welcome email, you're gonna to want to go to Toastmasters International, which is toastmasters.org, and then towards the top, what we're looking for is the word login. You can see it on the top bar. When you get to login, you're going to click forgot password and they will send you a new password. The next thing I want to look at is getting your computer ready. For example, let's say you have a Dell computer and you want to turn off pop-up blockers. For the PC or a Dell computer, maybe it's an HP, you're going to click on Tools, Internet Options, Privacy, and under Pop-Up Blocker, you're going to turn on or off Pop-Up Blocker. The reason is, in the Toastmaster Pathway program, there will be pop-ups periodically throughout the program. Let's say that you have an Air Mac or a Mac Pro. In that case, it's going to be over to the left. In that case, it's going to be to the left where we click on Chrome or Safari, whichever one you're using. 
and we click on settings, bookmarks, and other settings. Under privacy where it says site settings, we're going to click on that and then we will be allowing uh, certain permission so that we can allow pop-ups. Mm -hmm.